Welcome to Win Creativity Knox. Our all-star designer holiday series is well on its way. And now we're gonna start our mashups. I am so excited about doing the mashups. All the designers have come together. They're taking a part of the project to create something fabulous for you. And today we're doing a holiday table. And it's great, it's purple and gold and silver and fun and it's a really great table. Jonathan Fong is here and we're super excited. He's going to tell us all about how he created this really fun centerpiece for our holiday table. This toy cart is just a fun way to dress up the holiday table. And would you believe that these wheels are just smooth foam discs? Oh, super cute. <laughs> I just decorated them with some craft attitude printable film and on the sides uh, it's just construction paper. Oh, neat. And they really look like little spoked wheels. Yeah, and these presents, these are smooth foam blocks. Mm -hmm. This is what it looks like before. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Little gifts. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I decorated them, again, with Craft Attitude printable film. Mm -hmm. And then I made these bows with Macon's clay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it was really easy to just roll out and to make little ribbons so I could make little bows out of them. And these candy canes. They are really cute. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat these, but uh, they look real. And, and these were made with Macon's clay as well. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Just some white and red and wove them around. And those you could use from year to year too. Oh, definitely. And then the box here is just a box that I had, and I covered it with Rolex Illusion film just to give it that three-dimensional. That great know. shimmer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, it was as easy as that. And I just love how it just makes the table just more fun. It's fun, and it's whimsical. And I love how you could even change the things that you put in it, and you could use it again for a birthday party or any kind of celebration. So it's really something you can use again and again. Right, right. Yeah, you can keep these for forever. You can put these under a tree. <laughs> yeah, it's a great idea. It's really super cute. I'm here with Mark Manteno. And he's going to tell us how he did these great glasses and plates to our tablescape. Well, I don't know about you, but I always have about 12 to 14 people for Thanksgiving or Christmas, mm -hmm. so I never have enough plates. <laughs> so I went to the dollar store and bought the 99 cent glass plates, and I just etched them with wow. a simple stick on stencil and etch all cream. It was so easy. It's so high end. Yeah, and they look, they look really Fabulous. chic. Fabulous. So I got the same uh, set of glasses. Mm -hmm dollar each and did the same design to match the plates. So cool. And so just etch all you just like just push on and all you have to do is uh, get a sticky stencil. Okay. Uh, these are from Deco Art. Put it on the plate on the front or the back. It okay. doesn't really matter. Okay. Um, put your etching cream on and squeegee it out a little Smoosh bit. Smoosh it. Yep. <laughs> just so it's nice and even a nice thick coat. Let it set for 15 minutes. Um, squeegee it off because you can actually save the etching cream and use it again. Oh, very thrifty. Then rinse your plate and you're done. But didn't you do something else special? I did. I wanted to kick it up a notch, so I took a Krylon uh, paint pen mm -hmm. in silver, and I've also done this with gold, and it looks wonderful. And I turned the plate over and just painted oh. around the edge so it looks like a gilded edge on the edge of the plate. And I think it looks terrific. Looks it expensive. looks very expensive. Mark, mm -hmm. that's fabulous. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm here with my friend Judy. And Judy is going to tell us how to make these fabulous name cards for our table. Hi, Anna. You know, the way that I started was I took out, I started off with just a plain postcard here. Okay. And I used a stencil to kind of run it through the Spellbinders Grand Caliber mm -hmm. machine. 
And so I just sandwiched this in between and I rolled it through and then it embossed the paper. Yeah, it's just really amazing how the, the embossing, it might be a little hard for you to see at home, but trust me, it looks really cool. And so then once I had that, I rubber stamped with rubber stamp and an ink pad. And what I did was I embossed some silver embossing powder, some gold sparkly embossing mm -hmm. powder, and then this snowflake I just left with just the color. And then I cut it out, and I cut out around the snowflake to the middle line here. Okay. And that's like right in the center of the card, and I scored that so that when I folded it, it pops up. It's perfect. Look at this. Isn't that great? So it just adds a little bit of extra dimension to your name card, and it makes it look like something that is really special. Well, it's very elegant. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Cindy and I are going to tell you how we finished up this holiday table. We wanted some kind of fun little party favor decor accent for our table, so I did this little shooting star type thing. I took a paper mache star box uh -huh. and I leafed it with some gold and silver mm -hmm. leafing from Clear Snap. Let me hold it over here. Here we go. I did the bottom in the gold and the top in the silver, and it kind of gives you a little box you can reuse later. And then inside, these smooth foam balls fit perfectly inside of that box. I made a little slit in the top of the ball, and then I wanted to make these shooting stars. To make the stars, I used my Makin's clay mm -hmm. and um, a few different colors, the purple and the gold and the silver, the white. But I wanted those to have the silver and gold accents, so I also leafed the gold and the silver leafing it's onto so the clay. It's so pretty. It really pops really it well. It really does pop it. Some of the stars were push molded with a push mold. Some were cut with a clay cutter. And this big white one was actually, I stamped it when it was wet with one of Judy Kinn's star stamps. And then I cut it out and it gave me that super big star that took the um, metallic leafing really beautifully. Yeah, it's just so lovely. I really like it. Used some wire to make the stands for them, and a little of the quick grip glue held it in place. Do you wrap your wires like around a pencil or something to get I the curl? I used a paintbrush end, yeah, okay. and just kind of made them curly. And then just for a little bit of fun, I took some metallic decorative paper and used one of my Spellbinders dies and made some kind of curly cues to make it fun. And later on, you know, this will pop out some tissue, covers the ball. This would pop out. You could use these and make pins or other things. Or ornaments. Or ornaments. And then you've got this fun little box. So it's kind of a little bit reusable and a little bit of fun. Cindy, they just really add a lot to the table, and I like them so much. So now Anna is going to tell us how she made this great matching tablecloth and napkin set for our table. I just really wanted to do something fun and uh, make it really look like a really good textile. Mm -hmm. And this is just plain white muslin. And what I did with the muslin, napkins are 20 by 20 for a dinner napkin. And they can also be 18 by 18. So literally, after I did the dyeing, I tore the, the fabric. And I know that you said you like the raw edge the too. Raw edge. And then you don't have to finish it. But look at this, how awesome this looks. How did you get the modeling, kind of the textile feel? So I heated the pot of water on the stove, added some salt, added my purple writ dye. Once it got really, really hot, almost boiling, I just scrunched all the fabric into the pot. I put about three yards so into just- overstuffed it? Yeah, overstuffed it. So that gave it that really crinkle look. And then I was like, it needs a little bit more it's after darker shades, yeah. darker shades. So what I did, please, rubber gloves, very important. And I used a scrubber, hot water with the dye in it, a new set of hot water with the dye and almost over diluted the water with dye, some more dye to it mm -hmm. with my, and went in and then just started scrunching it and it would drip and it would just, it just oh, made yeah. a, such a cool, um, you know, textile on it. And I was like, oh, I really that like that. That reminds me of a batik without being it, batik. You know, I was kind of <laughs> thinking about that too, because I really didn't want to splatter paint it. And yeah. th so this just gave it a much more mm -hmm. cool look. And then uh, what I did is just did a um, Spellbinders Nestability die cut. Mm -hmm. I cut this out of some... Um, is it fabric? Yeah, it's fabric. It's a metallic fabric. Thank you, a metallic fabric backed with heat and bond on it. Uh, die cut it out. A heat set it on, and then I use some Blumenthal Lansing um, buttons on it just to Super add. Super fun. They add a little shine, too. So, and then with the rest of the fabric, made the tablecloth. And the same torn edges, just the raw edges? The same torn edges. So now Anna and I have one more secret we want to share with you about how we finished off our holiday table. Mark Montano showed us how he etched these great clear glass plates. And we really wanted the etching work to show on our chargers. And where did we get these? This is dollar store chargers. 
but when we put them down on these great silver metallic charges, it kind of disappears. We lost the great etching. So how can we make that pop? So die cut, uh, or I actually cut a stencil out of a grocery bag, rolled a little bit of masking tape behind it or blue tape, put it on top, and then just started spraying it with this Krylon spray. Just a little bit, a and then coat. like, let's add a little bit more, and then it kind of got spitzy around the edges, and I kind of like the way it looks. And you used the bottom of the plate as the template, right? Yes, I did. So that it's the exact size we needed. And then, it's amazing, when you put that etched plate on top, just pops. bang, it just pops. It's a great way to customize an inexpensive charger and make it work for almost any setting. And now this is the perfect finishing for our table. We sure hope you enjoy our holiday table. And when creativity knocks, open, open the, the door. door. Happy, Happy holidays! holidays.